this place called Chester's on the Run. Let's call it Trisha on the Run. This looks amazing. I just decided I'm done with all of this. I'm done vlogging. I'm done trying to be, I, I went after my dream. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Look at this biscuit. I've never seen a biscuit like this. Look. Oh wow. Wow. I learned something about myself. Wow, this is so good. I'm not a van lifer. Well, I'm not, I am. I'm stuck. I put myself in this position and I'm gonna get myself out of this and I'm just done. I'm done with um, the drama. Wow. This is amazing. I needed some soul food. I can't just park in a place. I have to keep going. Earlier today, I'm still not feeling good. Hello, whatever. A friend of mine sent me a cash app just now. I got some gas. And they told me to get some food. They wanted to see me eat. Mm -hmm. So, I decided not to stay in Louisiana. And I'm going to go towards Texas. But I'm going to go see a friend of mine in Texas. And... I'm gonna go seek treatment and stuff, not YouTube fame. My friend said that they'll help me with my dogs and that wow, that my complex trauma is keeping me from living a happy and fulfilled life and so until I actually address it and get real therapy I can't run away from my problems so I'm headed towards that direction I'm not gonna be vlogging about that Wow Wow um, I walked the dogs, fed them, watered them, whatnot, and I'm going to take a drive. Wow. This is so good. I'll tell you, I appreciate the little things in life. I am so grateful and th thankful mm, for every taste that I am tasting right now and of course I share with the dogs potatoes and gravy the last couple of weeks hey that's a van life dude too but it's hard if you don't have the capabilities for a bathroom and I mean a enclosed utility trailer is great for stealth camping camping overnight you need a bathroom you need a kitchen and my friend said that bathing in a trash can even though it looked good and I bought it is not right but I had to go through it. I 
take full accountability and responsibility for all this stupid shit I've done in my life and I'm not doing it anymore. The more that I'm on YouTube is the more that these people don't support me, but you that support me, that support me, that I'm talking to, that I love, that I appreciate the handful of you. The other ones, they just want to see me fail. And I can't live for that. I know I love to do it. When people say, Trisha, don't stop doing what you love because of the people that hate you. Don't stop doing those things. But it's exhausting and it's too much to keep fighting all the bullshit. I do it because there's the handful of people who love me. And I'm doing it more for the people who love me versus the people who hate me. And thanks to my friend, my friend didn't want to see me fail. And so I got a little bit of help for today. Every day. So I'm just saying, I'm not equipped to do van life because I don't have a van. I'm not equipped to do whatever because I'm not, I'm not, um, Anthony. I'm not cool like he is. I don't have the, the following like he does. And I have to accept the fact that I'm not going to have the things that I want. Too bad. Get over it. That's not your life. It means a lot to have a hot meal. It means a lot to have someone who cares. Everyone else can have a channel. It's just me that I'm not allowed to. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it and I have to give up doing what I love because nobody it it's it's not So I will, I will stop and I mean it this time because the only people profiting off of me are the reaction channels. Two days ago my channel made a dollar twenty. My, am I worth a dollar twenty to YouTube? Wow, this tastes so good. Mm. I'm sorry, I said I'm using up too much of my data. I was never popular growing up, and I'm not popular now. I did all of this to myself, and I have nothing to complain about. So, I just want, I really like these biscuits. I just wanted to take a moment. I just wanted to take a moment and just say, uh, I haven't had, I haven't had soda in a long time. This is a strawberry soda. So, okay, fine. These are the best chicken tenders I've ever had. Wow. This is a thousand times better than KFC. And this is gas station food.
Oh, it's not KFC, but this is really good. Last time I ate chicken, I think, was when I smelled formaldehyde in the bones. That was horrible. But needless to say, I'm tired of being stepped on. I'm tired of being somebody's punching bag. My dogs do deserve better. You're right. I'll rehome them. Maybe if that's what it means I have to do. I don't know. But I do know that I don't want to be where I'm not wanted. I'm tired of the cruelty, the mean emails. Dot what I have to do. So I want to say thank you for the $20 cash app. Man, this tastes so good. It's really, really helped. I'm going to make it. No, you want some. They're so funny. Oh, I'll save some for later. I don't have to eat all of it. Um, this was just super cheesy good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm. So this is it for now. I'm done talking. I'm done. For all this. Chester, you son of a bitch! Chester's! Chester's honey barbecue sauce! Honey mustard sauce! Look at that, he looks like a shriveled up chicken tender! Are you sure that's chicken tender? Just smack me in the face with it. <laughs> rub it in some, rub it in some honey mustard. <laughs> Got a load of that chicken tender, Chester's, chicken tenders. Has me shaking like a chihuahua. Yeah, I know I'm failing at life, so you don't need to see my life anymore. I will social media destruct myself. Will that make you happy? Okay. You said it. This was really, really good. Thank you. Chester's on the run has the best damn food I've eaten in a long time. Hey, and, uh, I enjoy meeting new people and seeing new things. And I feel like I've got a really bad cold. So, <coughs> excuse me. Here's faith over fear. Let them. I have to go to parts unknown, but it's all right. You don't have to hear any more from me. I'm done, okay? I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>